Guten Morgen, Kia ora, and welcome to another 3 Minute Thursday. Today we're going to take a look at how to render a time lapse in DaVinci Resolve 16. If you need some images and you haven't seen last week's video where we explore how to batch edit images in Affinity Photo, go and watch that video, it's down below in the description and then come back here with your nicely edited images. So DaVinci Resolve makes this process of rendering a time lapse super easy. Here's what we're going to do. First we're going to review our images. Second we're going to open them up in DaVinci Resolve and we're done. Seriously, that's all you have to do. Like take your images and open them up in DaVinci Resolve and you're done. If you want to stick around for the whole three minutes though, we're going to make some adjustments to our time lapse in step three. And finally, we're going to export the time lapse so we can reuse it in future video projects. Sounds simple enough? Let's do this. So these are the 451 images that we batch edited in Affinity Photo last week. So as a quick comparison, this is what we have right now. And this is how it came out of the Panasonic GH5. Probably not the greatest edit, but it serves as a demonstration. So I've made a new project in DaVinci Resolve and called it Time Lapse Demo. And all we need to do, grab all of our files by hitting Command A in the folder and simply drag it into our media library. And you see 451 images. And as promised earlier, there we go. DaVinci Resolve already recognizes that this is a sequence of images and treats them as one. So next we're just gonna import it into our project and go to the edit page. Here we have our file that we drag onto the timeline. And that's it, we click play. For the sake of completeness, I'll also show you another way how you can import your images. Just go back to the media page, just use the file browser on the left hand side here. We will import our raw files and you can see here, this is my GH5 Timelapse Central Park folder. And you can see once again, there's 451 photos in here that are not edit it and they also have a different format. If you just open up this folder, you will just get one single file here. And once again, you can drag this into your project. It's exactly the same length as the one we just imported. And once again, you can go over here and put it next to what we already have. And there we go. There's our other time lapse. So in case you haven't color graded or cropped your photos, you can do this also in DaVinci Resolve itself. The first thing I'd like to do is to correct the format. That's simple enough just by clicking the little transform tool here in the bottom left. I'll zoom out a little bit so I can see my entire screen. I am just going to drag it until it looks good. So if we compare this to our previous one, there we can see the edited version and this is straight out of the camera. Next we head over to the color tab and we're gonna treat this just like any normal video clip. We can adjust the saturation and the contrast. Maybe we'll bring the gain down a little bit. And that looks good enough. One thing I'd like to do before I export this is maybe speed this up a little bit. And at this point you can really just treat it like a normal video clip. I'm gonna bring up my retime controls here by pressing Command R and I'll speed each clip up by a hundred percent. I'm gonna see how that looks like. Maybe that's a little bit too fast. So let's do 50%. How's that? That looks nice. We're going to do the same thing for both clips. And finally, we want to export our clip. So before we do that, we want to head over to our export or our deliver page and press shift nine on our keyboard to make sure our timeline resolution is set to 4k because I shot this in a 5k format. We might as well export this at a 4k resolution so we can reuse this in future video projects. Click save and we will just call this time lapse demo throw it on the on the desktop i wouldn't change much of these settings here you just add it to the render queue and you're done and there you go it's really that simple and much more straightforward than it is in let's say final cut pro if you are interested in how to do that in final cut pro there should be a video down in the description or maybe a card up here go check it out so you can do the same thing but you just gotta love davinci resolve because this is awesome this is just like so so easy. And that's it for today. I hope you had fun. I hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. Do the whole YouTube thing. Consider subscribing if you're into this kind of stuff. And thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal.